Hey, Jason, keeping you all in prayers, friend. Julia T. Judith. Hey, Megan. Julie, good to see you. I know, Wednesday is like us day, right? We do book study, we go to evening prayer, and then Sue's got Compline at 8. It's like, wow, I'm glad we like each other because we're together a lot. <laughs> hey, Reagan, congratulations. Love the sorority pictures that your mom put online. Those are fabulous. Hola, Julia Tyson. Hola. Hey, Sue Kurtz. Six twenty seven. Okay, good. Good. Oh, Bobby, it's so good to see you. Hey, Shannon, good to see you too. Bobby Gordon. Ha. My day just got better. Leah, Leah, Leah. Not sure what it is. It's some kind of chickadee, but it definitely likes that seed. Holy cow. I couldn't be that loud if I wanted to be. Wow. Tiny, tiny little bird. Huge set of pipes. Wow. That's fabulous. That is just fabulous. Well, let's get started. We are on page 109, an order of worship for the evening, page 109. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus said, You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one lights a lamp to put it under a bucket, but on a lampstand where it gives light for everyone in the house. And you, like the lamp, must shed light among your fellow men so that they may see the good you do and give glory to your Father in heaven. Let us pray. O oh Lord God Almighty, you have taught us to call the evening, the morning, and the noonday one day, and have made the sun to know it's going down. Dispel the darkness of our hearts, that by your brightness we may know you to be the true God and eternal light, living and reigning forever and ever. Amen. 
on page 112. Hey, Ginny, 112 is the Fos Hilaron. Once you get there, let's read that ancient hymn together. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm for this evening, psalms, rather, are psalms 81 and 82. They begin over on page 704 of your prayer book, page 704. Hey, Erica, good to see you. We are on page 704 of your prayer book, reading Psalms 81 and 82. Once you all get there, let's read those together. Let us pray, read together. Sing with joy to God our strength, and raise a loud shout to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the merry harp, and the lyre. Blow the ram's horn at the new moon, and at the full moon, the day of our feast. For this is a statute for Israel, a law of the God of Jacob. He laid it as a solemn charge upon Joseph when he came out of the land of Egypt. I heard an unfamiliar voice saying, I eased his shoulder from the burden. His hands were set free from bearing the load. You called on me in trouble and I saved you. I answered you from the secret place of thunder and tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, if you would but listen to me, there shall be no strange God among you. You shall not worship a foreign God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt and said, Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. And yet my people did not hear my voice, and Israel would not obey me. So I gave them over to the stubbornness of their hearts to follow their own devices. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I should soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe before him, and their punishment would last forever. But Israel would I feed with the finest wheat and satisfy him with honey from the rock. And we continue with Psalm 82. God takes his stand in the council of heaven. He gives judgment in the midst of the gods. How long will you judge unjustly? And show favor to the wicked. Save the weak and the orphan. Defend the humble and needy. Rescue the weak and the poor. Deliver them from the power of the wicked. They do not know, neither do they understand. They go about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. Now I say to you, you are gods, and all of you children of the Most High. Nevertheless, you shall die like mortals and fall like any prince. Arise, O God, and rule the earth, for you shall take all nations for your own. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our Gospel reading for tonight is the 18th chapter of Matthew. We're working through Matthew this year. Matthew 18, verses 1 through 9. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, 
who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child whom he put among them and said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were fastened around your neck and you were drowned in the depths of the sea. Woe to the world because of stumbling blocks. Occasions for stumbling are bound to come, but woe to the one by whom the stumbling block comes. If your hand or your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life maimed or lame than to have two hands or two feet and to be thrown into the eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into the hell of fire. Take care that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you, in heaven their angels continually see the face of my Father in heaven. Here ends the reading. Hey, Vicki, good to see you. On page 88, page 88 is our canticle for the evening. Canticle 12, we're going to do portion 3 of that. Hey, Craig. Canticle 12, uh, portion 3, the people of God. So once you get there, we'll read the invocation, and we'll read section 3, the people of God, and then on page 90 is the doxology, one of those three-part canticles. Let us read together. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. In the firmament of His power, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Hey, Melissa. Let the people of God glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. In the firmament of His power, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Hey, Suzanne, good to see you. Hey, Bill, good to see you too. We continue on page 120 of your prayer book with the Apostles' Creed. Page 120. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. My friends, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hey, Rena. Hey, Tiffany. Good to see you all. We continue with Suffrages A on page 121. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. 
Lord, keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Keep, O Lord, your household, the church, and your steadfast faith and love, that through your grace we may proclaim your truth with boldness and minister your justice with compassion. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Over on page 832, 832 is prayer 59. Page 832, prayer 59, for quiet confidence. Once you get there, let's pray together. Hey, Karen, good to see you. Page 832, prayer 59. O God of peace, who has taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved, and quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Spirit lift us, we pray you, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And then let's continue on page 834 with prayer 65 for the answering of prayer. Let us pray that together. Almighty God, who has promised to hear the petitions of those who ask in your Son's name, we beseech you mercifully to incline your ear to us, who have now made our prayers and supplications unto you, and grant that those things which we have faithfully asked according to your will may effectually be obtained to the relief of our necessity and to the setting forth of your glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, I invite your thanksgivings and intercession, silently or aloud. Thanksgiving for each person gathered here. I pray for continued safety for them and for their loved ones and for this community of faith uh, scattered as we are in many places. I just ask that your, your wisdom and your peace will be upon us, uh, that we will hear your will and follow where you lead. Um, just thank you for this time together. Amen. On page 113 is a prayer that begins, Almighty, Everlasting God, down at the bottom of page 113. Once you get there, let us pray that together. Almighty, everlasting God, let our prayer in your sight be as incense, the lifting up of our hands as the evening sacrifice. Give us grace to behold you, present in your word and sacraments, and to recognize you in the lives of those around us. Stir up in us the flame of that love which burned in the heart of your Son as he bore his passion. Let it burn in us to eternal life 
to the ages of ages. Amen. And we conclude on page 114. Dear friends, the Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. Alleluia. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. It's good to worship with you all. Good to see you. Uh, scattered as we are in so many different places. It is a delight to stay connected. Remember that at 8 o'clock, Deacon Sue will be leading Compline. So if you need that, that extra bit of peace and just calm before bedtime, please tune in at that point. And I'll see you back here tomorrow at 6.30. Blessings, friends. <laughs>